They're off over two, three, and the grade one Alana Holmes champion novice hurdle. The leader is Champ Kiley, building up a sizable lead in these early stages from high definition and on Perry Pass. Then Amir Kabir, I know the way you're thinking, as Champ Kiley backed off the first. Races on to the second, not so far in front of high definition. Then on Perry Pass was followed by Amir Kabir, and again, Champ Kiley clouded another hurdle, turns in for number three, three lengths to the good over high definition, four lengths to Ampere Pass, with another four to Amir Kabir, I know the way you're thinking. Reaching their final two miles as they straighten for flight number three, and it's Champ Kiley and Danny Mullins with a reduced advantage of two and a half lengths over high definition and JJ Slevin. Closer in third, Ampere Pass, Paul Townend, then Amir Kabir Kitanahu. I know your way you're thinking is at the back of the field as they stream up in front of us, having jumped three. Chem Kiley in front of high definition, Ampere Pass, Amir Kabir. I know the way you're thinking. Circuit to go as they go uphill to flight number four. And it's Chem Kiley in front by less than two lengths to high definition. And third is Ampere Pass after the odds on favorite Amir Kabir. And lastly, I know the way you're thinking. At this flight, taking them up to the top of the course, Champ Kiley has warmed to the jumping task, re-establishes a three lead over high definition, then Ampere Pass in third place, just ridden around that turn, then Amir Kabir, I know the way you're thinking, to the upper flight, taking them over the mound, no changes from first to last, Champ Kiley in front, high definition, and third is Ampere Pass, now to continue the trend of his run-by-run run improvement and then Amir Kabir, I know the way you're thinking. Downhill they go to the flight just outside halfway. Champ Kiley, followed by high definition on Pere Pass and then Amir Kabir, and I know the way you're thinking. Over this flight, Champ Kiley, and obviously in third was the favorite on Pere Pass. They're about to turn into the back straight with five flights left to jump. In the Alana Holmes champion novice hurdle, Champ Kiley, reeled in by high definition, is now within a length and a half, five lengths to one Pere Pass, then Amir Kabir, and lastly, I know the way you're thinking. Down the back they go to the first of two. Champ Kiley, who jumped off to make the running, jumped it better than nearest rival. High definition, and third is on Pere Pass, with Matching strides out the back. I know the way you're thinking. And Amir Kabir, they fought a jump as they return to their point of departure. Less than seven furlongs to go. It's Champ Kiley, Danny Mullins from high definition. And JJ Slevin being followed then by a closing on Pere Pass. And Paul Townend as these three tightened up. A couple of rings clear of Amir Kabir. Keith Dunno on the inside. I know the way you're thinking remains last of the five. Three to jump. Champ Kiley reeled in by high definition, who's now on terms. Three lengths behind them, and third is on Pere Pass, and then Amir Kabir. And I know the way you're thinking. The third last flight, which was their first. Landing together, Champ Kiley, in high definition, tracked by Pere Pass, and then Amir Kabir. And busy at the back, Luke Dempsey, and I know the way you're thinking, two out. Champ Kiley from high definition, stalked to the home turn by Ampere Pass, and then Amir Kabir, and I know the way you're thinking. Just over two furlongs to go and one flight to jump. High definition just nudges ahead of Champ Kiley. Brought to the outside is Ampere Pass, followed then by Amir Kabir, and I know the way you're thinking. Racing down to the final flight, and it's high definition, the fractional leader from Champ Kiley. Pushed up on the outside is Ampere Pass, as they come towards the final flight, and Ampere Pass is driven to the front from high definition and over goes Ampere Pass, and high definition collided with the rail, but it has made no difference as Ampere Pass is powering clear in the closing stages to preserve his unbeaten record in the Alana Holmes champion novice.
Patrick Sheard, Willie Mullins and Paul Townend. Second high definition, Champ Kylie in third. Joined now by Paul Townend, a treble on the day in a grade one double, of course. Paul, Imperial Pass, how idle was he? Very, yeah. I was kind of caught on between the two groups, which wasn't ideal. I was hoping they were going quick enough that when I got up to them, he'd come alive then. And he did, to be fair to him, but uh, he, he does that at home too. So uh, I knew when Danny went to the start, Danny knew it too. He knew his plan going out, but uh, all was well that ends well. Indeed it was. And you're very conscious that going to last year, no rush to really take it up until you had to. Yeah, it was on, I was getting there and getting there. Um, JJ's is a stair, you know, in the flat, so um, no, he he doesn't kill himself when he gets to the front either, as you've seen after the line. Definitely, yeah, down to the roadway cross, and I thought you were in trouble for a stride. Yeah, uh, there was no fancy celebrations anyway. <laughs> How good is he? Um, I think he's very good to, it's hard to know because he, do, he only does what he has to, and if you've seen him at home, you, you'd ask what it was, you know, so um, no, it's a good way to have him, and I, we haven't got to the bottom of him yet. He's, he keeps winning, and that's the most important thing. Yeah, indeed, and uh, obviously the way he goes through a race, stepping off a trip, you think will bring about further improvement or be in his comfort zone all the way? Exactly, but I think even company, he'll travel. Mm. The way he travelled through Chatham, with company, you know, you don't know where he's, he has a bit of class as well. He does indeed, he definitely has that. Uh, chase career next season, or any idea what the plan is? It's above my pay grade, Fran. <laughs> <laughs> we'll, worry, we'll worry about it then. <laughs> if I get told to school him over a fence, I'll school him over a fence, and if not, He'll win plenty of race, whatever he does. Indeed he will, and uh, Stateman was very good. Um, you got a nice, easy lead in front, but he built it up well from a long way out. Exactly, he's, he's a lovely horse now. You can do what you want with him. Uh, you know, he was cautious probably in front jumping, um, but you know when, when something comes to him, he's going to find plenty, and um, you know, he, he jumped adequately, I thought, today. Yeah, it's not the thing with him, just he, if he did lead or a stronger gallop to him, that he would jump better. Exactly, exactly. It's not ideal making a run on him, but it's, he wins doing that as well. And, you know, only for Constitution Hill, he's, he's unbeaten, so you can't, you can't knock him for that. That's it, indeed. Four, four from four in Ireland, he ran into a monster in Chelham. He has run into a monster, and uh, it's not his fault. If he wasn't around, he'd be a good champion hurdle winner. He's been beating the rest of them all year. Indeed, it's a great day for you. Well done. Yeah. Thanks very much. Watch live racing now on RacingTV.com.